made that tarp. It's been a few years now since I made it, but it's it's a three by three meter tarp. It's all nylon. It's just the same as the tent is. It's the same colour as the tent, and they go perfectly together. Now, I could put it up higher than that so I could stand under it, but I think keeping a low profile if you are. Try to keep stealthy, it's probably a better idea. But high enough to sit under with my stool and do a bit of grouping. Keep out the rain for a prolonged time. Because if you're in a wee tent, you can feel a bit cramped flying in there. Yeah, for a, a length of time. You know. Great for sleeping and that's what I designed the tent for. Just to put up at night, get in there get asleep and get away in the morning uh, but like last year I've seen it was really unpredictable weather and you really need something else to keep you dry because once you're soaked and everything else is soaked the trip, the trip starts to get a bit miserable unless you get a good bit of sun that you can dry your gear out So this tarp weighs about, uh, with the pegs and the, the lines and in the bag, it weighs about 800 grams. So it's not a lot of weight, excess weight to be taken with you. But I think on, this is June and it feels more like the end of April. And if, if I go away and it's a, a good chance of rain and chance of showers. I think taking my tarp with me is a good idea. Uh, rather than try to wing it and hope for the best. So, it's only 800 grams. It's not a lot of weight to take with you uh, for that extra security. But in fact, you could dry your clothes under there. Uh, still raining, so it's raining constantly, you can dry your clothes under the tarp. Yeah. So it makes sense. Now, if you were just sticking to the woods, probably the tarp and the bivvy bag would be a, a better idea, because you're solving the problem you've got with the, the wet weather and the tent, because you're only going to sleep in the bivvy bag, and you've got the, the tarp, for the room to move around but if you want to camp somewhere where there's no trees then the tarp is only good for making like a tarp tent sort of a structure which is probably not the biggest sort of a structure you'd, you'd like so the tent's good for camp anywhere but the tarp and bivvy it's not as versatile. Plus, if, well, it's more versatile actually, but you'd really like to be in the woods or you'd be using a, a pole to, to set it up. Uh, plus, in fact, the tent is quicker to put up than the tarp. Put the tent up in a few minutes. The tarp is a wee bit longer. So, these are the choices you've got to make you go away. But either either setup is equally as good. So I'll give you a wee look how I set this thing up. I made these straps that can just go around a tree with quick release buckles on it. And that's on the I made these tensioners uh, to tighten the, the rope. And I just put these privy knots on to hold the tarp up so that just makes it a lot quicker to set up than tying knots if you're not too familiar with tying knots tying knots is probably a good way of doing it but this makes it easy for me it makes it nice and quick and like I say the tarp is uh, 
three meter by three meter it's got plenty of tie outs on it can be set up in loads of different configurations and it is totally waterproof uh, it's been tried and tested and there's no complaints there so that's the tarp So the sun's sort of coming out and it's brightening up, so I think it's time to take the tap down and head on our merry way. So this video was filmed on the, the coffee jar lid and piece of wire tripod. It's really slight underneath. So If you like buying things, buy a tripod. If you like to make things, make a tripod. Whatever way you do it, they'll work just the same.